you're over 50 and therefore you shouldn't load your spine with squats or deadlifts. Oh, but okay. It is as you say, for you. Not for me, for you. Because that's how powerful your own words are. You're hearing the words coming out of your own mouth and got to tell you something here. Those are the most believable words and the most believable voice that you will hear in the course of your entire lifetime is your own. You'll believe your own BS. Hi, I'm John Hart. Welcome back to my channel, Mr. America Hart. I've been having such a good time knocking out these videos over the last couple of years that I think I'm just going to keep on going. <laughs> hey, what I'm talking to you about today, listen, this is directed at the men and women over 50. In particular, in particular, those of you who just can't seem to get it together, all right? Uh, I'm going to tell you a little quick story, a very quick story, and that is uh, I was recently at an orthopedics office with one of my sons, and we were sitting in the waiting area, and the uh, receptionist had called uh, you know, one of the other gentlemen up, asking him some questions, filling out some paperwork. And in doing so, she asked the gentleman when his birthday was. And, you know, this man, he looked fairly old. You know, he had a, he had a pot belly and uh, had a little bit of a limp. I assume he was there for a leg injury of some sort. Uh, but really, you know, gray, gray in the face, gray in the hair uh, and on top of the head. Uh, you know, just weathered uh, the skin, you know, sagging, hanging off of his arms and, uh, like I say, overweight. and. I guessed, as I looked at him as he was coming up, I would guess he was about 70. Uh, you know, he looked like he was a, a pretty good 70, 75 in age. And so when the receptionist asked him his age and or his birth date, and he said the same exact month and year that I was born, my son pushes me. And I look over at him and I'm shaking my head like this the whole time. And he says to me, Dad, I mean, really? And, uh, you know, I was speechless at first, but it made me think. It made me think about you guys, okay? And that I had to do a quick video on this one because well, what's the difference? You know, what's the difference? I, I, mean, I was looking at somebody who obviously doesn't take good care of himself. There's number one. You could say all you want about genetics, and you can say all you want about you know that person. We're, we're we're both 58 as we're looking at each other. We're both 58, and one of them looks like they could you know he looked like he'd be my dad. And sure, I guess if I grew out all my hair and my beard, I guess you'd see some gray hair here and there. Sure, but but no, not physically. You know, there's no pot belly and. Uh, you know, lack of muscle and skin hanging off of, you know, my body. I'm not saying that to brag on me. I, I have to point out the difference here. It made me think because I am vis visually seeing this man walking or limping right in front of me. But then secondarily, I started thinking about all the comments that I've heard in the comments section of my videos over the past couple of years Whenever I do one that's directed at men over 50 or the crowd over 50, there is a lot of comments, a lot, that just show how much y'all have given up. I'm not saying all of y'all. I'm saying the ones who are making those comments have just given up. Now, some of y'all believe what you want to believe. Believe that you can't push hard in the gym. Believe that you, you know, uh, 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 it's, it's past your time. Believe that you know you, you you should be eating bad food because I don't know why, whatever your reason is. Comfort food because you're older and you've lived a life. I guess, I don't know. But mainly speaking, there's a lot of giving up that has happened. And that in itself has it, it had me, man. I thought about all the comments I've heard. I've heard comments, you know, like, you know. You're crazy when I talk about training intensely or hard or doing exercises, specifically when I talk about doing squats or deadlifts in particular. That really gets a lot of the men, especially, going. 
<coughs> excuse me, where they're talking about you know having bad backs and things like that, and bad knees and all of that. Well, it is as you said. I guess you do have bad backs and bad knees, and you don't want to risk damaging them anymore. But sit on the couch and don't do it. Don't use them. Don't use them. There you go. I can guarantee you one thing: you'll be in pain. Or if you choose to do exercises that are highly inferior to those, then yeah, you're not going to get anything out of it, and just you still you're going to wear out your joints. So if you want me to agree with you, but that's not my attitude. My attitude is different, okay? My attitude is a lot different. Since I was in my teenage years, I got up very early in the morning. I got up and I went to the gym. Now I'm in my late 50s, staring down the throat of 60 sometime soon, okay? And I still get up at 3 or three or 4 in the morning, and I'm hitting it in the gym. Every day? No, not every day. If you want to find out about my workouts, you can go to MrAmericaHeart.com. You can download uh, Mr. America Shape Up series. Those workouts still apply. That's a great one. You can download Physique 101, all the principles in Physique 101. I still apply them today. So the difference is that I, I don't work out as often as I used to. But the intensity is still as high, and I still do it with purpose. I still wake up in the morning, and I'm, you know, I get up, I read my Bible, I spend some minutes with God, some time with God, and then I get myself into my gym or the gym. I get to one or the other, depending on what I'm training. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to train hard. And that hasn't changed. That's the difference between me and staring across the waiting room at this other guy my age that looked like my grandfather. That's the difference, is that, you know, he's just not even trying. There you go. He's not even trying. And a lot of you aren't even trying. A lot of you don't believe. There's the difference. I do believe. I do believe, and therefore I do. So there's another one, too. It is exactly as you say. You say it enough times to yourself that you're too old for this. That you shouldn't be trained that way. That, oh, you, you're going to, you know, you're over 50 and therefore you shouldn't load your spine with squats or deadlifts. Oh, but, okay. It is as you say, for you. Not for me, for you. Because that's how powerful your own words are. You're hearing the words coming out of your own mouth and got to tell you something here. Those are the most believable words and the most believable voice that you will hear in the course of your entire lifetime is your own. You'll believe your own BS as well. If you say it enough times, it goes out your own mouth, into your own ears, down in your heart, out your mouth, into your own ears, and down in your heart. Wow. Out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. So if you're faithful, full of faith that what you're doing is right. I'm full of faith that my workouts are good for me. I'm full of faith that what I'm doing in the gym is building the integrity of my structure to last every day of my life. And this thing will serve me all the days of my life in great health. And it will never be a distraction to me. That's my attitude. What's your attitude? So I hope you found something in this video worthwhile. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And that's it for today. Listen, all this comes from my heart to you. I, uh, for those of you who are struggling, I understand that it is a real battle. And there is a time where you have to decide. Are you going to get up? Or are you going to fight back? Are you going to get up? Or are you going to make a stand? Are you going to get up? Or are you going to take a step in the right direction? Just a step. And then tomorrow, take two. And then build on that. What are you going to do? Are you going to just lay down and take it? So make a decision. All right. So listen, before you go off to my left, that right there is the subscribe button for my channel. Will you give that thing a tap? And subscribe to my channel. YouTube will let you know when some new videos pop up. Down below, you're going to see a thumbs up button off to your left right there. That thumbs up button. Once you give that thing a tap, it'll just let the YouTube algorithm know how much you're liking my videos. And also, I appreciate it very much 
So listen, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.